I'm just waking up. What is my freaking purpose to lol? <laughs> Manifesting, but really feeling to live each day like it's my last. Let's talk about the meaning of life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, manifesting, creating, that's my meaning as well. Creation and self-love and helping others and nourishing others and... I like to grow, I like to evolve, I like to master things. I like learning new skills. So definitely learning and progress. I like the feeling of progress. Of learning something and then you get better and then you get better. Definitely creating, painting, making music, playing music. I think it's play. Thinking that everything is sort of playing. And you're like a, a child in a sandbox. You get, you have all these tools to play with. And you just pick the ones you like the most and you go... You just let let it consume you. The meaning of life. I think children as well. Children are as well. One of the biggest meanings in life. Creation. So creation of new new humans. As well as creation of any other things that can be created in this world. Love. Sharing. Experience. I think experience is the biggest. Trying out things. Humor is, is great. Laughing, but like good humor. Like my sense of humor is really weird. I like, I, rec I, I, I like really extreme stuff. I like, I don't know. I like black humor a lot. I like to laugh at things nobody wants to laugh at. And then, when my laughing at things that nobody should laugh at makes other people angry why I'm laughing at those things, then what makes me laugh is their trigger. So, when people get mad at me for laughing at inappropriate things, then when they get mad, that's even funnier. <laughs> so, I guess, yeah. I like making fun of things. But I, I balance it out. You know, you know the saying, the more you are sensitive to pain, the more you're sensitive to pleasure, the more open you are to feeling other people's pain, the more you can feel the beautiful things in life. I like to weigh that in. So in a sense of, if I can feel everyone's pain, I will sure give myself the right to joke about anything because I wouldn't hurt anyone I wouldn't deliberately make someone's life miserable but as sure as hell I'm gonna make fun of everything I want of course ap appropriately according to the situation like I'm not gonna come to your mom's funeral and laugh about it um, of course there is there's places where you don't do such things but there are some places where it's like on the line and I love that line I love that line since I'm a heretic in human design I love to poke at <laughs> this line to see where it is to stretch it I love dark humor it's actually supernatural power this energy yeah it's transmutation it's yeah. What up seeds, butterflies and hearts. Yeah, it's transmutation power to make everything light. Nothing too serious. But then of course there are things that are very important to me that if somebody was making humor about it, I wouldn't laugh because they're important to me. But for someone else, they're not important. And that person can make fun of it as much as they want. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe I just won't <laughs> hang out with them. As the same as people don't hang out with me if I make fun of the things that they value. But that's okay. That's okay. What's important for me is not important for you. 
what is my pain is not your pain, vice versa. Doesn't mean my pain is bigger and yours is not important. And it doesn't mean that what is important for you is not... I couldn't give a fuck and that could be okay. But for you, it's your life. If it's important for you, okay, let it be like that. So... <laughs> I can feel this, I can feel this full moon charge. I can feel myself... Um, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not emotional, I'm just not bounded so much. I'm not bound so much. Maybe it's not even about the full moon. Maybe it's just a cycle. A friend told me that the actual new year is on Monday when the first day of spring comes. And that feels very natural. So... There's also great forecast for two days of intense sunshine here on Saturday and Sunday. So we'll see. Maybe I'll go out into nature on Sunday and make a big celebration for the natural new year. He told me it's like Persian. He's from Iran. And that's like ancient Persia. And he says that the Persian new year starts on the 21st. And it's actually the beginning of a new century for them. It's not 2022, it's 1400s, since they're not Christian. And it's like beginning of a new century. And a part of it feels, I don't know if it's the full moon or some of the accumulating stuff that has been happening, sort of coming back to my own voice and eliminating outside influence. But the energy that I feel that is waking up inside me is that and I've just spoken with my partner a few minutes ago about that. And that's accepting everyone, loving everyone, but giving myself permission to not listen to any of the advice that anyone is telling me. So holding space for every single person, loving everyone, but then after they're done talking, I just do the exact opposite and do the thing that I want to do. And it's very, a very liberating experience. Because I've been through a lot of putting people on a pedestal type stuff and internet people and like... And I've tried a lot of different things with my diet, with my way of looking at things. And I'm glad that I tried them so I know from experience. Um, but I definitely know now that Nobody is above me, and I'm not above anyone, so... There's a saying, listen to everyone first, but yourself last. And that's really cool. That's really cool. Because it gives you the two-pointed approach where... You're actually going to give the other person opportunity to say whatever they want to say and present their advice or experience, their, their story. And then after that, you can decide for yourself is it good for you or not. Whereas if from the beginning you push away, you don't know what you're pushing away. Maybe you would like it if you just stick, stuck around and listened. But it's very liberating, because now I know, okay, I can listen to you for five hours, and after the five hours just say, nah, 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 that ain't for me. And the biggest part was, is like, it was about my parents, when you sort of understand that your parents are not gods, and they also have their trauma, and way of seeing things, and then also people in the spiritual community, people on the news, you know, like, the expert for health, but the guy is overweight and he has sunken eyes and who put you in charge, goddammit? How are you the expert of health when you are barely breathing, man? Like, you are, I am, you need to take a vaccine. I am the expert of health. How? How? I guess you have a cousin in government 
because that's how things go these days. You just have somebody from your family in the government and they sort of, whoa, this is the new health expert. Come on. Come on. So yeah, yeah, I can feel, I can feel this release through the full moon. Once again, it's my, maybe it's not the full moon, maybe. Maybe it's the spring, you know, sunshine, new life. This has started off as meaning of life, but is ranting on into many different uh, directions. So feel free to add. This is a human design and holistic health. <laughs> rant I guess but Q&A just you can ask questions about human design and uh, holistic health Q&A ask away you can donate you can buy me watermelon it's watermelon season I just don't know how I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get the watermelon since I'm not going outside today I'll see if they deliver Nah, I'm gonna go outside. I can face it. It's important to face the dragon. If you face the dragon, you get the treasure. And whatever struggle comes from life, it's better if you face it head on, because then you... The energy of excitement versus energy of anxiety is very similar. And the energy of fear, you know, fight or flight versus freeze. It's very similar, but if you fight, you have power. If you freeze, you give your power away. So, it's better to go and, f like, I look at life as sort of a wave. And every single day, the, way, the wave goes from one person to the next. And it's, it's like a big breath. Let's say this is, th these, this is the world. And, this, and my fingers are f the five people living on the world. And let's say this is me, this is you, this is your partner, this is your friend, and this is somebody on the other side of the planet. In the morning, it's here where I am. Then it's here where you are. Then it's here at your partner. Then it's at your grandma. And then this is the dog in Costa Rica. And throughout the day, the breath or the struggle or the wave is gonna hit every single one of us. You can't avoid it. It's like the wave of change. The wave of uh, unpleasantness. You gotta go through some unpleasantness every single day in your life. And you can choose. Do you wanna go through that unpleasantness as one hour of yoga in the morning, or one hour of martial arts training, or one hour of doing your taxes, or whatever? Voluntarily choose what you want to have be unpleasant that day, and then face it like a warrior, or you just wanna lounge, and hope it doesn't hit you and then it hits you in the last one hour of your day you get a message about something or you get some emotion and then you're like you don't know where to go with it it just it bites you in the ass when you least expect expect it so you you have to go to the dragon it's the only way you can stay in your power megan how do you not fight but not give your power away the huh not fight what Fighting is fire, and we all have fire. If you don't have the fire, you're dead. And if you don't fight, you you have to use your fire somehow. If you don't, you get depressed. You don't feel that there's a worth, there's any reason to live. It's not exciting, it's not an adventure. So you cannot fight. You have to fight for something. You are asking me how to not fight, but not give your power away. The, the 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 important thing is you need to choose what you need to fight for you always need to fight for something i'm having an issue with lazy people <laughs> choose people who are not lazy choose people that fight for the same thing so the lazy people they're not fighting for the same thing that you are fighting for but they're fighting for something else 
So if you have an issue with people that are not fighting for the same thing that you want to fight, you need to choose people that have the same goal in mind, that have the same values and passions that you have. So if, if I want to fight for health and, I don't know, my business and peace, someone else will maybe wants to fight for climate change. And I'm like, I can't change the climate. I can only change my health. So I'm not going to fight for climate change. I'm going to fight by doing martial arts and yoga and watching what I eat and spreading peace and helping people. But I'm not going to go fight for climate change because it's too big for me. I'm going to fight for for things that I can control, that I can control. And then that person is going to be like, but why aren't you fighting for climate change? How? Am I going to throw stones at clouds? What the fuck? That's my opinion. It doesn't mean that people that fight climate change, that I'm against them. No, no. Go do your thing. Just, I'm going to be with people that fight for things that I fight for. So if you have an issue with lazy people, they are lazy because they don't think that what you feel is important, they, 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 they just don't give a fuck about it. They're not lazy, they're lazy for the thing that you want to fight for. So you need to find people that want to fight for the same thing that you're fighting for. And we all need to fight. You need the fire. You need to use the fire element, your passion, your intensity, your warrior, your protector, healer, builder. You gotta use your fire somehow. If you don't use your fire on the things that you want, it will be used as aggressiveness, passive aggressiveness, judgment. Uh, your body's gonna respond in ways unconsciously to things and then you're gonna regret it. We all have the power. We're all animals in a sense. We all have the fire and it's are you going to use it on things that you want or are you going to wait until the fire gets so un uncontrollable that you either go into depression or outbursts? So you all have a purpose. Find the purpose and channel the fire into it. What's the symbolism of octopus and tentacles? I notice you have some images in your artwork. I've been seeing it everywhere. My spirit's telling me something. Definitely. I feel very, very connected to the botanic botanical kingdom and to animal kingdom and the tentacles are like one consciousness and i'm a tentacle and you're a tentacle and megan's a tentacle and jolyn's a tentacle and christine's a tentacle and we're doing this we're doing this but the core is the head of the octopus and the tentacle like an octopus has Every tentacle has a brain of its own, but it's all connected to one octopus. That's what we are. That's what life is. All the things that you see in my artwork, on my website or my Instagram, it's basically a depiction of source, of life. This pulsation, this... That's what I'm saying. The wave goes from me to you to Jolyn, to Christine, back to me, then to Cassie, is it Cassie? No, Sherry, sorry, <laughs> someone else is named Cassie. So, like, Megan, Summer, Jolyn, Christine, Sherry, me, Megan, and it's like all the 8 billion people in the world. And the middle is the octopus, the middle is the ether, the god's consciousness, the <laughs> the breath, the big breath, and it's like... <sighs> like one big breath going in and out. And you're just a part of it, you're just... <sighs> <sighs> like that. Morning, Najat. Quickly logging in to say hi before my boss gets here to get some positive before starting my day. Hello, peaceful people. Yeah, we are peaceful, but it's very intense today. So, Najat, uh, today is full moon, meaning that you might come across intensive energy in yourself and intense energy in other people. As people that have <laughs> been here from the start of this live could have sort of felt that I'm uh, very um, 
on the high octaves today. I'm ranting, I'm letting things out. And you can either be fun about it, you can laugh about all the things that are coming out of you today, or suppress it and judge it, and also just understand that it's a day of release. It's a day where the moon is full. When the moon is full, there's a lot of light. And a lot of light means a lot of electricity. Meaning that everyone today is a, lit, is a bit more high voltage than normal. And some people can't handle that. And that's why you get outbursts. And some people can handle that. I feel that I'm handling it pretty well. And you, you can feel the difference. You can tell the difference. I'm just channeling it into this humor, dark humor, warrior, I'm speaking a lot, I'm not grounding it, so um, you can try to do the same, dance it out at the end of the day, just go, go crazy, don't hurt anyone, um, feel it as a ritual of release, of release. I did yoga, definitely yoga, martial arts, get dancing, get, uh, cry, release, uh, go into nature and uh, go Tarzan mode, I don't know. And know that if certain people are very tense and if they yell at you, it's because of the release. I mean, it's general life advice. To not take the Tarzan moon, yeah. Tarzan mood. Sherry. One moon, one sun and one star. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you contacted me, Sherry. If you have uh, your uh, uh, birth information, everything, feel free to go to my Calendly page and see what time works for you and book it and I'll be there at that time. We'll record the call. I will explain human design for you, answer all of your questions. So if you have any issues or questions how to book and if you can't find, you can find it through, I, through my website under guidance. Plan to book something next week. Thank you. All right. Amazing. Thank you for that. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one sessions, like I'm speaking to Sherry right now about her session, all the links can be found through my Insight Timer uh, link, which is you, you go to I Create Lines, you go to my uh, profile and in the link, in the link in the description, Najat says I will do a one-on-one -on -one session soon, I need it, nice. So I Create Lines Insight Timer, description, click the description uh, website and in that website there will be book one-on-one. -on -one. You click that, everything's sorted out. Or through the website icreatelines.com. If you want to check out my artwork, the one that Summer is talking about, that's also on my website. Um, there is my uh, Instagram, it's called I Create Lines. My YouTube's called I Create Lines. You can check out, I post artwork daily on there. I post uh, videos sometimes on my YouTube, free videos many things um, yeah I follow on Instagram your artwork is amazing thank you Najat if anybody is an entrepreneur they need a logo graphics for their website graphics for their labels you're coming out with a new soap for dogs organic soap for dog armpits I can make you a logo for that or something like that, or you're like, uh, I don't know, yoga for babies, YouTube channel, and you need thumbnails for videos where babies are stretching, I can do that for you. I don't know, I don't know, I'm losing my mind, and it's a good thing. Because human design tells us that we shouldn't make decisions from our mind. There are many centers in human design. Your intuition, your emotions, your sexual center, your heart center, your environment. <laughs> Soap for dog armpits. Where they do have four of them, right? They need a lot of it.
Yeah, I, I have... I, I feel this energy because, um, like I said, I went into a difficult situation with strength and clarity and this is sort of like a reward, this release. So, you can do the same. Whatever you feel today that is a struggle, go into it with a warrior mindset. Go into it with open eyes, look at it in the eye. Don't be like, oh, like this, be like, like this, like I can do it. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're a new favorite energy person, yeah. Come back again next week, it's, it's an everyday live. I don't have this energy every single time. Sometimes I'm quiet for an entire hour. <laughs> Yeah, it's a scale, it's a scale, every person is a scale of many different sounds and octaves. You never, life's like a box of chocolates, you never know what version of me are you gonna get. It's a symphony, we're all symphonies. So, Megan, uh, follow and lives are every day from 3 to 4. Monday to Friday if you want a one-on-one -on -one human design session if you're new to human design stick around some days it's fully human design based some days it's fully holistic some days it's like today where it's I don't know what the fuck this is but it is Christi Christine says H H to you Christine Have a Dragon Warrior Day. Goodbye for now. You too, my friend. So, as you see, we need to respect every person's uh, way of communication. Um, we're gonna respect Christine's H today. Every person has a right to express themselves in any way that they want. <laughs> Started to say haha. When I get excited, it seems everyone around me is uncomfortable and wants me to be tame. Why is that? Even though I'm vibing high and positive, it triggers the world, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people are suppressing their joy. Some people are living life that they don't want to live. They're working the 9 to 5 that's burning them out and... What they feel is how... Why, why do you deserve such joy? Why don't I deserve such joy? How can you be free with your energy like that and I can't? Who, who gave you permission to be like that? And... Yeah, because we live in a world of restrictions where people look at the news to give them permission to live their life. And they people need guidance, they need approval. And you don't need approval to be happy, and then that triggers them. And your happiness comes from within you. If you vibe, it comes from you, right? You just feel I'm... It comes from your emotional wave, Summer. Your emotional uh, solar plexus defined. You just come... It's in you, yeah. And they're like... But why are you happy now? Like, look at the state of the world. Look at... My misery. Why are you happy when I'm miserable? And it's because they are still... Dependent on outside circumstances to, to choose for them whether they're happy or not. And it's just the majority of people in society. It's like I saw I saw a meme the other day. Uh, a person, one person was looking at the phone. It's like a comic. One person was looking at the phone, and the other person was just looking at the person looking at the phone. And the 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 one that's not looking at the phone was asking the one on the phone, um, "Why are you upset today?" Because the person on the phone was like grumpy and looking at the phone. And this this guy was saying, 
Why are you grumpy today? And this person looking at the phone said, I don't know yet, I'm waiting for them to tell me. So, why does it trigger the world? Because the, the, the trigger is... The, the, the triggering world is the default now. How can you say that? No, but they told you that's not okay and... Nah. It's because you are connected to Source and yourself and they are connected to the media. They are connected to other people. And you are connected to your joy, you are connected to your essence, your source, your spirit, your emotions. You choose what you want and they let other people choose for them. And then when you choose for yourself, they're like, but how? This is not an option I have. They have two options, maybe miserable or work, work, work. or. We all deserve good things without bad things happening. Yeah. We can go into good and bad as duality. I would say we all need to accept everything. So we need to accept that there are bad things happening in the world or uncomfortable things happening in the world or there are people that don't have our best interest in the world and there are people that are getting triggered. There are people that talk shit about others, that gossip, that might seem evil or bad but there is a choice i wouldn't say we all deserve good things without bad things happening i would say that we all need to see both things and choose for ourselves what we want so there's always going to be quote unquote good things and bad things it's up to you what you want So there's always going to be, you, you just saw how the COVID pandemic ended on the day that the war started. Suddenly the pandemic was like what, yesterday's news? But for, for two years it was the main thing. And now suddenly there's no more pandemic. No more uh, how many people got infected over there, what the measures are over there. Now it's just invasion. So I'm guessing that the day that the invasion stops, it's gonna be, oh my god, AIDS, or space SARS, or the chicken flu, or climate change, or uh, the banks are going down, or hacking, or food shortages, or nuclear bullshit, and it's always gonna be, if you, bananas breaking the internet, exactly. There's always going to be something that you can choose if you want to feel bad. But of course you can always go click, shut it off and just go. Oh, this is this nice music and go make love to your partner and go work on your business and go for a walk and go do some yoga and go Sharknado. Yeah, this is always some bullshit. So it's not about good or bad, it's, it's about what you want. There has to be bad, because we have to have free will. If it was all good, people would rebel. You know the Matrix movie when they say, we tried to make the Matrix a utopia, and it didn't work, because people don't have the, the freedom of choice. There has to be good and bad, because people need to have the illusion, I mean it's not an illusion, it is a true thing. People need to have the freedom of choice and it has to be one or the other, sort of one or the other. So if everything was good, it would be become it would become background furniture. If everything was bad, everyone would kill themselves. But there has to be a choice. You have to have the choice to watch the news in order for you to say I don't want to watch the news, I want to be in nature. So we need to have free will to choose, that's why there's always two things. That's why there are the people, some are, that trigger you, 
so you know you don't want to be around them but then you know i want to be on this live with these people with i create lines i want to be with my children i want to be with my friend that understands me there's always contrast it's always going to be we're never going to be in peace i doubt it there's going to be perfect harmony all all over the world because such systems i don't know i, I i'm having trouble imagining it how, how would we choose things then? But maybe it happens. I hope it happens. I hope the ones, the, we, that we choose good things, that we have an amazing life. And we can watch the news where people imagine and then create wars for profit and I don't know. I don't know their story, I know my story. I'm having so much fun playing with my inner playground. I have, I have almost a whole galaxy inside me. I never knew it was there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's infinitely when you go inwards. There's no end to it. But just make sure not to dwell too much on it, but actually do some things in real life as well. Do, 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 do. If you want a one-on-one -on -one session, if you want to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, if you want to donate, buy me some bananas. But not the ones that will break anything, the ones that are nice. Nice, nice bananas. Anyway. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that was helpful in some form or fashion. Leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i do daily videos daily live sessions on the insight timer app if you go to the link in the description or the link up above here you can join our monday to friday q a sessions on the insight timer app it is completely free we talk about holistic healing, psychotherapy, emotional health, mental health, the human design system, and energy work, aura and biofield. If you're having anxiety, depression, relationship problems, energy blockages, if you would like to know more about the human design system, come join us and become part of a huge, beautiful, supportive community of like-minded individuals join my consciousness bubble and come into this cycle of abundance with me if you are new to human design make sure to click the link in the description to go to my website where i where i have put my ebook called initiation into human design how to get started it is a guide for people who are new to human design who would like to learn more but don't know where to start it's a step-by-step program completely free for you to download the website is called icreatelines.com you can also find it in the description or by clicking the link somewhere in the edges of this video i want to thank you for listening for taking this time to spread awareness for yourself for your health i am a holistic therapist holistic practitioner human design coach and a psychotherapist if you would like one-on-one -on -one private sessions, therapy sessions with me, you can also find them on my website. I would like to wish everyone peace, health and abundance. And I will see you either in the next video or on my live sessions on Insight Timer. Peace, health and abundance.